Only the River Flows is the new movie by Wei Shu Jun, and this premiered at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival under the Uncertain Regard competition. And without knowing much about this one, walking in, I was comparing this with that newer Chinese neo noir called The Wild Goose Lake. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I think that was a safe comparison. I often thought of the slow style with filmmakers like Nicholas Winding Refn, specifically with his Amazon Prime series Too Old to Die Young. Also, Only God Forgives, which came out like a decade ago. And I also thought of my favorite movie ever, <laughs> Brick. More so in that this is a very gumshoe and intricate mystery, one that I don't really know if I was able to pertain everything after one viewing. And I am surprised to say, not only does this movie look like it is set in 1995, but this feels like something that would have been released back then as well. Everything from the grainy 16 millimeter that we have and performances too, just the way that characters will walk into a scene, it almost feels like something that you would have seen on TV in the 90s. But none of this is gimmicky and feels played out. It felt natural and it complemented the movie's aesthetic very well. This movie follows this detective who is in charge of finding out who this madman murderer is going about town, only this case is playing more into his life than he would want it to. The man is quiet and collected. He almost reminds me of like Rosarch from Watchmen, but he has a good relationship with his wife who is pregnant now and that becomes a great subplot as complications in her pregnancy start coming about as well when watching it doesn't feel like a subplot that has much to do with the case at hand but it builds so much character and brings a lot of great conversations and warm moments for these two actors I felt just a sense of warmth, the scenes between the two of them. I don't know, there's just something about them that I bought into their characters quite a bit. The sound mixing on this movie too, it's great. Since this is a dark noir, there's often a lot of rain and it feels like it is raining right on top of you. Also the gunshots, there's not that many in this movie. Every single one counts and I love all my mystery movies or really any movie when weapons like guns are used very sparingly and every single time they are it counts. This is one of those movies. I will say it is a pretty slow movie. It is full of style so I think that compensates and it builds to a wonderfully straightforward and head scratching final 30 minutes. I will say there was like an old man that was snoring really loud just two rows ahead of mine and I, I mean yeah like get it together but at the same time I think something like that should be said this is a pretty glacial pace movie yet despite the pace you could still expect the unexpected there were many moments that shocked my audience and Overall, I walked away from this pretty satisfied and for the right person, I feel they will fall for the style that this movie offers. I would give this a 7.9. Only the River Flows is released by Kim Stem and is playing in select theaters now. Thank you for watching.